Know that your actions here today will give thousands of people hope. And hope is one of the most dangerous threats to an administration that deals solely in hate and fear. Acting Homeland Security Secretary Kevin McAleenan walked off the stage today at Georgetown Law School after he was shouted down by protesters who chanted the names of migrant children who died in custody. That's acting Homeland Security Secretary Kevin McLeanan uh, walking off stage after being drowned out by protesters at an immigration conference yesterday. Protesters at the Georgetown University hosted event appeared to shout the names of multiple migrants who have died in immigration custody in recent months, including several children. DHS condemned the protesters with a statement saying the First Amendment guarantees all Americans the right to free speech and assembly. And we have some breaking news. Acting Homeland Security Secretary Kevin McAleenan is stepping down. Predator who has no business being on the Supreme Court for a single day, let alone for a lifetime. There are folks who are focused on their narrow institutional prerogatives, mm -hmm. right? And then there's us, the rest of us, that have a moral obligation. A moral obligation, regardless of the institutional realities, to do what's just, mm. right? It's our, like, these folks are, are reactive. It's our leadership that ultimately shifts the conversation, shifts the political sands, right? with just thanking uh, Credo Action and Social Security Works members. We have over 85,000 petition signatures uh, standing up for drivers like me and saying the gig is up. Rally in Chicago this morning making a push for equal pay for the U.S. women's national soccer team. They gathered outside the U.S. Soccer Federation headquarters in the South Loop. are never small. If they were small, they would have been one. Our goal, our, we were born as a country to be bold, and that is what we have to do today. No nibbling around the edges. No trying to take on a little piece more than what we have. We want the whole thing. Credo activists are demanding more and better from Democrats. They're defending reproductive freedom, civil rights, and the planet. They're fighting for an economy and a democracy that ensures freedom and equality for everyone. The Credo Donations Program gives $2 million to 36 progressive organizations every year. The groups we fund are leading the fights our activists are engaged in. They're also changing the landscape of the progressive movement to be more inclusive, more uncompromising, and to push far beyond the Democratic Party establishment when it comes to imagining the future that we're creating together. Speaker Pelosi, we can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait. While Donald Trump empowers white supremacists who are gunning down our communities, locks up migrant children and families in concentration camps, strips away health care protection for transgender people, and cuts millions of women off from accessing health care from Planned Parenthood, Speaker Pelosi keeps telling us 
to wait on impeachment. We're here to demand that Nancy Pelosi, that the Democratic Party, follows the will of the American people. We want him impeached. And Congress, do your job. If Speaker Pelosi does not lead on impeachment, she won't leave a legacy of resistance like many other San Francisco Democrats. She will leave a legacy of failure. Today, a coalition of national advocacy groups delivered a petition with 10 million signatures calling on Congress to begin impeachment proceedings against the president. The petition was delivered to freshman Democratic Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib. So far, almost 600 different events are planned nationwide, rallies and marches on the eve of the House's full vote on impeachment. That vote will happen on Wednesday. These events are going to happen tomorrow night, Tuesday night. The website impeach.org, a project of a big coalition of different liberal advocacy groups, uh, is helping protesters coordinate these rallies all under the banner, Nobody is Above the Law. Tonight, the historic moment in the House, voting along party lines to impeach President Trump. On this vote, the yeas are 230. We don't just need to beat Trump in 2020. We need to create a vision for the world we all deserve in 2050 and beyond. We need to build political power that shatters business as usual in Washington to fix our economy, restore our democracy, end white supremacy and patriarchy, and save our planet.